Welcome back. Welcome back to Lanise TV. Welcome back, you guys. Welcome back with another one to all my day ones. All my uh, new, make sure you, hey, 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 welcome back. And uh, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. And you also can follow me on Instagram at Lanise TV underscore. Lanise underscore TV. One of them. You can find me on there. Okay, y'all. So, I want to talk about, you know, I felt like Queen deserved more than what she had got from Claire Bear. Um, Claire Bear just said last week that y'all was hating on him because everything was handed to him. Okay? Follow along. Right? That's what Claire Bear said last week when he was popping off doing his reaction. Um, so, basically, everybody was waiting to see what Claire Bear was going to get Queen Nigel for her birthday, right? And remind you, he stopped the concert to give Queen Niger her birthday gift. Correct? Okay. So he bought um, Queen Niger a Jeep, a 2021 Jeep, which is cool. But was it really a birthday gift, or was it more of a clap back to Chris Sales? That's where I'm confused at. Was it a clap back towards Chris Sales? Or was it really a gift, a, bir a general birthday gift to Queen Niger? That's what I'm having a problem with. Do I feel like Queen Niger deserved more than what she got? Hell yeah. Not only that, let's talk about it. Queen Niger goes live looking sad, right? And she's like, oh, I'm not sad. You know, I'm not sad. I'm not sad. But the first thing she talk about do I want to pay for my birthday party? Do I? Why you keep saying you? She shouldn't have to pay for nothing on her birthday. She shouldn't have to pay for her dinner. She shouldn't have to pay for nothing on her birthday or up until her birthday. Should I say? And, you know, she was sad, but she quite up and down. She wasn't. But the first thing she talked about is her birthday. Now, what I'm having an issue with is... I thought Claire Bear was going to buy Queen Nigra a Jeep and maybe a Range Rovers, maybe a Benz, you know, maybe something besides just a Jeep. I felt like I was confused. Are you clapping back at Chris or are you buying your girl a birthday gift? I'm so glad that Chris Sales did not clap back and did not react to the, because the, the shit was kind of whack, I'm not going to lie. I felt Queen could have got way more than what she got. Let's talk about Clarence's birthday from last shit. So, Queen Nigel set up the birthday party. Queen Nigel organized the birthday party. Queen Nigel custom made a Corvette. Yeah, I said it, custom made it. All this stuff in the time for this man to have his birthday party. But I just feel like Queen didn't get the same thing in return. She didn't get the same thing in return. I pay for Queen's music every motherfucking month. Queen Nigel can buy five Jeeps on her own. I feel like Queen Nigel get the short end of the stick. Now, how the hell, now let, let's answer a question. How the hell did Clarence got a, a nice ass car? Even Mighty the God even got a nice ass car. Lee even got a nice ass car. And Queen Nigel about to be riding around in a Jeep in Atlanta? Like, make that shit make sense. I thought he would have bought a, a Jeep and a Benz or a Jeep and, you know what I'm saying? Like, these girls done got way better gifts than a fucking Jeep. This is the same woman who paid for the whole entire vacation and had to ask her man, for some D, and he still went to sleep on her. He still went to sleep on her. Like, I don't know. The fans, y'all, the it's the fans for me. Cause the fans don't really. I don't know. They I don't know. If they just crazy or what the hell. But you know, opinion is an opinion. I had the right to say that Queen Niger deserved more than what she got. It's an opinion. It's an opinion of mine. And so, you know, that's just how I feel. And another thing we're going to talk about. I am so glad that Christelle did not clap back at the bull crap. 
I'm so glad he did. The only thing I can tell Chris Sell is don't stumble the bag. Do not stumble the bag. Do not stumble the bag. Leslie, let's talk about Leslie. Is she wrong for doing a collab with Chris? No. Was Queen wrong for leaving her son and Chris in Texas to take care of her son while she stayed in the basement with Claire there? Was that there? See how that works? So no, she, she, she's not wrong for doing a collab with Chris. Chris, all I got to say, keep doing what you're doing. Keep moving forward and don't stumble the motherfucking back. That's what I'm going to tell Chris. What do y'all think about Yandy? And I'm going to tell Lee, you might want to be careful because Yandy might be coming for your job. Okay? I'm <laughs> Yandy might be coming for your job. Okay? That's all I'm going to say. Uh, take it how you want to take it. Um, you know, Yandy used to manage Jim Jones and all of them. She's swept down. She used to manage them, all these people. But I'm going to be honest with y'all. I don't like Yandy. After what she did to that adopted girl, like, yeah, I don't like that. Because when you adopt somebody, you just don't throw them out like that. You just don't put them out your life. And as soon as your man come home, you, you don't have a daughter no more, an older daughter no more. Like, where the fuck do they do that shit at? So I'm just going to tell Lee, watch out. Because Yandy might be coming for your motherfucking job, okay? And, um, Queen, do not, do not, I repeat, do not go on Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. Don't be a, don't be a part of Monica, um, what her name? Sorry, y'all, don't be a part of Mona Scott, uh, VH1. Don't even fuck with VH1. I, just keep on singing, Queen, okay? Just keep on singing, um, that, please, please, whatever you do, wash your back, okay, don't believe what you hear, you know, what you see, not what you hear, okay, I'm gonna need you to, you know, cause, um, it's crazy how Queen is more closer to Yandy, I thought Queen and Carly B would be more friends than Yandy and, uh, Queen, cause I swore, like, Queen is the same age as Carly, right? The fact that she hanging with somebody that done this shit before, that, you know, done this stuff before, that is crazy. Like, I just, I just felt like Queen deserved more than what she got. And, um, I guess people wasn't, you know, pleased about what I said, but it is what it is. She deserved more than what she what she got for her birthday. I felt like that was bull crap. I said what I said. That shit was whack because I was confused. Was it a gift for Queen or was it a clap back to Chris? Which one was it? I, I was confused. I felt she should have had two cars. That's my dog. Like, come on now. That's my opinion. Uh, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. And I'm out.